I used to buy a lot of plastic products. And of course, they are usually the cheaper and easier option to more premium products made of say metal. Especially out of university, I wanted to minimize my short-term cost as much as possible. But after using these products for a few years, you realize they get damaged and degrade, often to the point where you need to replace them. And this is not just a problem because consuming a new product costs you money and creates unnecessary waste in the production of the replacement. But also because while you used that old product, you released a lot of microplastic into the environment around you. And that is made even worse if the plastic comes in direct contact with your food. So let's explore how our household items degrade, release microplastic and what alternatives exist to avoid this problem. Look, everything degrades, not just plastic products. Things degrade when they experience friction. This can be through cutting, wearing, running water or any number of actions through normal use. Here is someone's spoon after years of use versus a new one. This sort of wear and tear is unavoidable if you actually use an item. And to see this in action, to really see this in action, we have to get close. Like, really close. Any item will shed part of its material in this process. The difference being what it sheds. With wood spoons you are releasing, well, wood into your food or the water drain. As long as the wood is not treated with toxic materials, this is completely non-problematic, as wood is not inherently toxic to our bodies and is biodegradable by nature. Once your wood item has degraded to the point of not being usable, it is easily destroyed by being naturally biodegradable. And the replacement literally grows on trees. Metal can also be a good alternative. It is generally very hard material, making it last much longer than wood, to the point where something like a cast iron pan can last you generations. What little material it does shed is also not necessarily toxic, although this kind of depends on how it's being produced. The biggest downside is that metal can be quite costly in its production, especially environmentally. Plastic, however, is the worst of both worlds. It is often as easily to destroy as wood, while being very environmentally harmful to make. And the microplastic you create is toxic to you and the environment around you. Oh, and side note, for cooking, silicon is similarly problematic as plastic, but that is a video for another time. Plastic generally also is a lot more soft than you imagine. Take this cutting board. You can see the individual cuts the harder metal knife makes into the soft plastic. Each cut sheds plastic that will end up right in your food as you are cutting. You can see how I can remove some of the plastic with very little pressure. All these particles will end up in your food. And there have been studies that show that when plastic boards are used in food production, such as meat packing, the plastic will show up in your food. Of course there are plastics that will shed more or less microplastics as you use it. But especially when cooking, would you want to take that chance? Instead we can just use wood cutting boards that have been doing the job for centuries if not millennia. And yes, while they do cost a little more than their plastic alternatives, there are many affordable wood cutting boards available now. Especially bamboo based boards are available at many home furnishing stores now. On top of the fact that plastic items degrade into your environment, you will have to replace them more frequently. In the long run this will be more expensive for you as each purchase will cost you time and money. So yes, plastic boards may be cheaper now, but if you have to replace it in 5 years after eating all this plastic, rather than 10 or more years with a wood cutting board, you're actually losing money in the long run by buying the cheaper product. And that isn't even considering the added environmental cost of the destruction of the old and production of the new when you replace something. Buying a higher quality item over a plastic item is almost always a better option. This goes even for more long-term items like electronics. These are my headphones that I've been using for many years. And they work perfectly. And I won't be replacing them until they really break. But you can see that the plastic is breaking. Especially the soft material used for the ear cushion is deteriorating. And there's no chance for me to catch all the pieces as they fall off. All that plastic will likely end up in nature. While more expensive, there are headphones made of more durable metal and cloth-based materials for softer parts that will likely degrade. That isn't to say that more expensive alternatives won't degrade, but they might do so slower. And by lasting longer, you will have to replace them less frequently. 
thereby doing a ton of good by avoiding excessive manufacturing. And when they do degrade or get recycled, the byproducts will cause a lot less harm. With electronics, of course, like many products, you might never find a product that doesn't contain plastic. However, even between two plastic products, there will be a big difference in quality. The cheapest headphones you can buy are optimized for one thing. Price. The manufacturer doesn't care that it might fall apart in six months. These businesses are set up to keep selling you more cheap products, independent of quality. While paying more for a product does not guarantee you a longer life of a product, paying extra attention to build quality and especially which material is being used will have a huge impact on how long the item you are buying will last and what damage it does along the way. Another issue is that manufacturers don't always tell you what their product is made of, so you cannot be sure how much plastic is really being used. But there are still a lot of choices to make when you purchase these products and making the material and longevity part of your decision making will ensure that you are reducing the creation of microplastic as well as protecting your health and your wallet.